G'day there. This is a story about an unusual connection. Here is a dainty swallowtail, otherwise known as a small citrus butterfly. And here is a cabbage white butterfly. Let's see what the connection is between these two. Welcome to One Minute Bugs. I'm Dennis Crawford. Citrus butterflies are quite common on citrus trees. There are a couple of species involved and they are both native butterflies which breed on native and cultivated citrus. The species I get in my garden regularly is the small citrus butterfly, which is more correctly known as the dainty swallowtail. I see them flitting around my citrus trees in summer. Life starts as an egg on the tip of new growth. The eggs hatch and the larvae go through a few growth stages until they reach full size. At this stage, they are rather lovely caterpillars about 45 millimetres long. Then the larvae pupate on the tree, but first they must attach themselves to the tree with a silk girdle. This is kind of similar to how a rock climber might attach themselves to a rock wall with a harness. It's a bit of a fiddly process, and this larva made a mess of it, but eventually it was attached, and then it pupated into a camouflaged pupa, or chrysalis if you prefer, and the pupa resembles a twig. Now for that connection with cabbage white butterflies. Many of the swallowtail pupae on my tree have been parasitised by this little wasp. This wasp was introduced into Australia in the 1940s to help control cabbage white butterfly. It is known as the cabbage white butterfly pupil parasite, yep, that's a bit of a mouthful, because it lays its eggs into butterfly pupae. Unfortunately, this wasp has a wide host range across several butterfly families, so not just cabbage white butterflies. This wouldn't happen today. Any biological control agent would be tested to make sure it has a narrow host range. How the wasps get to lay their eggs into the butterfly pupae is amazing. They actually follow the larvae, or even sit upon them, and then wait nearby until they pupate. As soon as the larva has pupated, they lay their eggs inside, while the pupa is still soft. I assume that most, if not all, of the swallowtail pupae on my lime tree have been parasitised. I'll have to wait till spring to find out, though. Why are there so many wasps this year? Well, that's because we had a bumper season for cabbage white butterfly. What usually happens with pests such as cabbage white butterfly is their numbers increase through several generations during the season. And the numbers of predators and parasites also increase, particularly towards the end of the season, like now. I am seeing more of this particular parasitic wasp now than I have ever seen before. Kind of makes you want to control cabbage white butterflies a bit better, doesn't it? Some might think that it's a good thing that the swallowtails on my lime tree are being controlled by this little wasp. I don't. The caterpillars do very little damage. Check this out. So the new growth towards the tip of the branch are all eaten off. Then some leaves are partially eaten off, but the rest are just fine. And the tree is just fine. And besides, I like having native butterflies in my garden. How about you? Coming up in the next video, let's talk sedum aphids. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching.